The following is a list of United Nations resolutions concerning Israel. As of 2013, Israel had been condemned in 45 resolutions by the United Nations Human Rights Council. Since the creation of the Council in 2006, it has resolved almost more resolutions condemning Israel than on the rest of the world combined. The 45 resolutions comprised almost half of all country-specific resolutions passed by the Council, not counting those under Agenda Item 10 countries requiring technical assistance. From 1967 to 1989 the UN Security Council adopted 131 resolutions directly addressing the Arab-Israeli conflict. In early Security Council practice, resolutions did not directly invoke Chapter 7. They made an explicit determination of a threat, breach of the peace, or act of aggression, and ordered an action in accordance with Article 39 or 40. Resolution 54 determined that a threat to peace existed within the meaning of Article 39 of the Charter, reiterated the need for a truce, and ordered a ceasefire pursuant to Article 40 of the Charter. Although the phrase, "...acting under Chapter 7," was never mentioned as the basis for the action taken, the chapter's authority was being used. The United Nations General Assembly has adopted a number of resolutions saying that the strategic relationship with the United States encourages Israel to pursue aggressive and expansionist policies and practices. The ninth emergency session of the General Assembly was convened at the request of the Security Council when the United States blocked efforts to adopt sanctions against Israel. The United States responded to the frequent criticism from UN organs by adopting the Negroponte doctrine of opposing any Security Council resolutions criticizing Israel that did not also denounce Palestinian militant activity. <laughs> <laughs> United Nations General Assembly resolutions 1947 November 29, 1947 Resolution 181, recommending partition of the British Mandate for Palestine into Arab and Jewish states, and international status for the city of Jerusalem. 1948 December 11, Resolution 194, establishes Conciliation Commission, protection of and free access to Jerusalem and other holy places, resolves that the refugees wishing to return to their homes and live at peace with their neighbors should be permitted to do so at the earliest practicable date, and that compensation should be paid for the property of those choosing not to return and for loss of or damage to property which, under principles of international law or in equity, should be made good by the governments or authorities responsible. 1949 May 11th, Resolution 273, Admission of Israel to Membership in the UN December 9th, Resolution 303 IV, International Regime for Jerusalem December 10th, Resolution 356, Jerusalem 1950 December 14, Resolution 468, Reduces Financing for an International Regime in Jerusalem 1952 January 26, Resolution 512, Report of the United Nations Conciliation Commission for Palestine. December 21, Resolution 619, takes note of Israel's complaint against Arab ceasefire violations. 1956 November 2, Resolution 997, called for an immediate ceasefire in the Suez Crisis, an arms embargo on the area, and condemned Israel's participation in the conflict as a violation of the 1949 Israel-Egypt General Armistice Agreement. November 4, Resolution 998, called for the Secretary-General to submit a plan for a United Nations peacekeeping force to secure and supervise a ceasefire in the Suez Crisis. November 4, Resolution 999, reaffirmed UN General Assembly Resolution 997. November 5, Resolution 1000, UN Force for Sinai. November 7, Resolution 1001, UN Force for Sinai. November 7, Resolution 1002, calls for an unconditional Israeli withdrawal from the Sinai. November 10, Resolution 1003, The Suez Crisis. November 24, Resolution 1120, The Suez Crisis. November 24, Resolution 1121, The Suez Crisis. November 26, Resolution 1122, The Suez Crisis. 
November 26, Resolution 1089, regarding the United Nations Emergency Force 1957 January 19, Resolution 1123, the Suez Crisis. February 2, Resolution 1124, the Suez Crisis. February 2, Resolution 1125, the Suez Crisis. February 22, Resolution 1126, the Suez Crisis. February 27, Resolution 1090, Administrative and Financial Arrangements for the UNEF. November 22, Resolution 1151, UNEF. 1958. August 21, Resolution 1237, The Situation in the Middle East. November 14, Resolution 1263, UNEF. December 13, Resolution 1337, Cost Estimates for the UNEF. 1959 December 5, Resolution 1441, UNEF. December 5, Resolution 1442, Approvement of Major General Gianni as Commander of the UNEF. 1960 December 20, Resolution 1575, Cost Estimates for the UNEF. 1961 December 20, Resolution 1733, Cost Estimates for the UNEF. 1962 December 20, Resolution 1864, UNEF. 1963 June 27, UN Special Assembly Resolution 1874. June 27, UN Special Assembly Resolution 1875. December 17, Resolution 1983 UNEF. 1965 December 21, Resolution 2115, UNEF. 1966 December 16, Resolution 2194, UNEF. 1967 July 4, Resolution 2252, Humanitarian Assistance in the 1967 War. July 4, Resolution 2253, SV, condemns Israel's measures to change the status of Jerusalem as invalid. July 14, Resolution 2254, deplores. Israel's failure to abide by UN General Assembly Resolution 2253, SV. July 21, Resolution 2256, The Situation in the Middle East September 18, Resolution 2257, The Situation in the Middle East. December 13, Resolution 2304, UNEF. 1968 December 19, Resolution 2443, establishes the Special Committee to investigate Israeli practices affecting the human rights of the Palestinian people. 1969 December 11, Resolution 2546, condemns Israeli "...violations of human rights and fundamental freedoms," in the occupied territories. 1970 November 4, Resolution 2628, urges the speedy implementation of UN Security Council Resolution 242 and recognizes that, "...respect for the rights of the Palestinians is an indisputable element in the establishment of a just and lasting peace in the Middle East." December 5, Resolution 2727, calls on Israel implement the recommendations of the UN Special Committee investigating Israeli practices in the occupied territories. December 15, Resolution 2728, Report of the Special Committee to investigate Israeli practices affecting the human rights of the population of the occupied territories. 1971. December 6, Resolution 2792, UNRWA Report. Calls for the implementation of UN General Assembly Resolution 194, stresses the inalienable rights of the people of Palestine, and calls on Israel to stop resettling the inhabitants of Palestinian refugee camps. December 13, Resolution 2799, The Situation in the Middle East. 
December 20, Resolution 2851, Report of the Special Committee to Investigate Israeli Practices Affecting the Human Rights of the Population of the Occupied Territories. Condemns Israeli Practices in the Occupied Territories. 1972 December 8, Resolution 2949, The Situation in the Middle East. December 15, Resolution 3005, Report of the Special Committee to Investigate Israeli Practices Affecting the Human Rights of the Population of the Occupied Territories 1973 December 7, Resolution 3092, Report of the Special Committee to Investigate Israeli Practices Affecting the Human Rights of the Population of the Occupied Territories December 11, Resolution 3101, Financing of the UNEF. December 17, Resolution 3175, Permanent Sovereignty over Natural Resources in the Occupied Arab Territories. 1974 October 31 and November 29, Resolution 3211, Financing of the UNEF and the United Nations Disengagement Observer Force UNDOF. November 29, Resolution 3240, Report of the Special Committee to Investigate Israeli Practices Affecting the Human Rights of the Population of the Occupied Territories. November 29, Resolution 3246, Affirms the Legitimacy of Armed Resistance by Oppressed Peoples in Pursuit of the Right to Self-Determination, and Condemns Governments which do not support that right. December 9, Resolution 3263, calling for an establishment of a nuclear weapon-free zone in the Middle East. December 17, Resolution 3336, Permanent Sovereignty over National Resources in the Occupied Arab Territories. 1975 October 30, November 28 and December 2, Resolution 3374, Financing of the UNEF and the UNDOF. November 10, United Nations General Assembly Resolution 3379, equating Zionism with racism. December 5, Resolution 3414, calls for economic sanctions and an arms embargo on Israel until it withdraws from all territories occupied in 1967 and grants the Palestinians their inalienable national rights. December 11, Resolution 3474, calling for an establishment of a nuclear weapon-free zone in the Middle East. December 15, Resolution 3516, Permanent Sovereignty over National Resources in the Occupied Arab Territories. December 15, Resolution 3525, Report of the Special Committee to Investigate Israeli Practices Affecting the Human Rights of the Population of the Occupied Territories 1976 November 9, Resolution 316 c, Condemnation of the Collaboration of Israel and South Africa. November 24, Resolution 3120, expresses deep concern that no just solution to the problem of Palestine has been achieved, refers to the problem as the core of the Middle East conflict, and reaffirms the inalienable rights of the Palestinians, including the right of return and the right to national independence. December 1, Resolution 31 fifths, Financing of the UNEF and the UNDOF. December 9, Resolution 31 61, reaffirms previous condemnations of Israel, and calls for the Security Council to take effective measures against Israel, and requests sanctions on Israel. December 9, Resolution 3162, calls for an international Middle East peace conference under the auspices of the UN and co chaired by the United States and Soviet Union. December 10, Resolution 3171, calling for an establishment of a nuclear weapon free zone in the Middle East. December 16, Resolution 31106, Report of the Special Committee to Investigate Israeli Practices Affecting the Human Rights of the Occupied Territories. December 21, Resolution 31186, Permanent Sovereignty over National Resources in the Occupied Arab Territories. 1977 October 25 and December 2, Resolution 32 Quarters, Financing of the UNEF and the UNDOF. 
October 28, Resolution 32 5 reaffirms previous condemnations of Israel, and stresses the "...urgent need..." to achieve a "...just and lasting peace in the Middle East." November 25, Resolution 32 20 reaffirms previous calls for a full Israeli withdrawal from the occupied territories and an international peace conference with PLO participation. December 2, Resolution 32 40 reaffirms the "...inalienable rights of the Palestinian people", including the right to national sovereignty and the right of return. December 12, Resolution 32 calling for an establishment of a nuclear weapon-free zone in the Middle East. December 13, Resolution 32 report of the Special Committee to investigate Israeli practices affecting the human rights of the population of the occupied territories. Calls on Israel to respect the Geneva Conventions. December 19, Resolution 32-161, Permanent Sovereignty over National Resources in the Occupied Arab Territories. 1978 November 3, Resolution 33-13, Financing of the UNEF and the UNDOF. December 7, Resolution 33-29, reaffirms previous calls for a full Israeli withdrawal from the occupied territories and an international peace conference with PLO participation. December 14, Resolution 33-64, calling for an establishment of a nuclear weapon-free zone in the Middle East. December 14, Resolution 33 71st, expressing concern over military buildup and attempts of acquiring nuclear weapons of Israel. Calling for arms embargo against Israel. December 18, Resolution 33 report of the Special Committee to investigate Israeli practices affecting the human rights of the population of the occupied territories. 1979 January 24, Resolution 33 183rds d, demanding that Israel terminate all form of collaboration with South Africa. October 25, December 3 and December 17, Resolution 34 7, financing of the UNEF and the UNDOF. November 16, Resolution 34 29, expressing concern over the deportation of the Bassam Shakar, Mayor of Nablus, by Israel. December 6, Resolution 3470, reaffirms previous calls for a full Israeli withdrawal from the occupied territories and an international peace conference with PLO participation. December 11, Resolution 3477, calling for an establishment of a nuclear weapon-free zone in the Middle East. December 11, Resolution 3489, Israeli nuclear armament. December 12, Resolution 3490, Report of the Special Committee to Investigate Israeli Practices Affecting the Human Rights of the Population of the Occupied Territories. December 12, Resolution 3493, p. Demanding that Israel terminate all form of collaboration with South Africa. December 14, Resolution 34136, Permanent Sovereignty over National Resources in the Occupied Arab Territories. 1980 December 1st Resolution 3545 Financing of UNDOF December 5th Resolution 35110 Permanent sovereignty over national resources in the occupied Arab territories December 11th Resolution 35122nd Report of the Special Committee to investigate Israeli practices affecting the human rights of the population of the occupied territories December 12, Resolution 35 calling for an establishment of a nuclear weapon-free zone in the Middle East. December 12, Resolution 35 Israeli nuclear armament. December 16, Resolution 35 h demanding that Israel terminate all form of collaboration with South Africa. December 16, Resolution 35-207, reaffirms previous calls for a full Israeli withdrawal from the occupied territories and the establishment of a Palestinian state. 1981, October 28, Resolution 36-15, demanding that Israel desist any archaeological excavations in the Temple Mount. November 13, Resolution 36-27, condemns Israeli attack on Iraqi nuclear facilities and demands Israel to compensate Iraq. November 30th, Resolution 3666, Financing of UNDOF. 
December 9, Resolution 3687, calling for an establishment of a nuclear weapon free zone in the Middle East. December 9, Resolution 3698, Israeli nuclear armament. Demands that Israel renounce possession of nuclear weapons and submit its facilities to inspection. December 16, Resolution 36147, Report of the Special Committee to Investigate Israeli Practices Affecting the Human Rights of the Population of the Occupied Territories. December 16, Resolution 36150, Demands Israel to cease planning of a canal between the Dead Sea and the Mediterranean. December 17, Resolution 36172 M, demanding that Israel terminate all form of collaboration with South Africa. December 17, Resolution 36173, Permanent Sovereignty over National Resources in the Occupied Arab Territories. December 17, UN General Assembly Resolutions 36226 A and B, reaffirms previous calls for a full Israeli withdrawal from the occupied territories and the establishment of a Palestinian state. 1982, February 5, Ninth Emergency Special Session S, 9-1, The Situation in the Occupied Arab Territories. November 16, Resolution 3718, condemns Israel refusal to implement Security Council Resolution 487, and demands Israel to withdraw its threat to attack nuclear facilities of neighboring nations. November 30, Resolution 3738, financing of UNDOF. December 9, Resolution 3775, calling for an establishment of a nuclear weapon free zone in the Middle East. December 9, Resolution 3782, Israeli nuclear armament. December 10, Resolution 3788, Report of the Special Committee to Investigate Israeli Practices Affecting the Human Rights of the Population of the Occupied Territories. December 16, Resolution 37122, Demands Israel not to build a canal between the Dead Sea and the Mediterranean. December 16, Resolution 37123, Condemnation of Israel's alleged responsibility for the Sabra and Shatila massacre by Qatarib Party in Beirut, Lebanon, resolves that the massacre was an act of genocide, condemns acts of plundering Palestinian cultural heritage, condemns the occupation of the West Bank, Gaza and the Golan Heights, and condemns the annexation of Jerusalem. December 17, Resolution 37135, Permanent Sovereignty over National Resources in the Occupied Palestinian and Other Arab Territories. December 20, Resolution 37222, Living Conditions of the Palestinian People in the Occupied Palestinian Territories. 1983, November 10, Resolution 38 9, reiterates the demand that Israel withdraw its threat to attack nuclear facilities of neighboring nations. December 1, Resolution 3835, Financing of UNDOF. December 5, Resolution 3839 F, demanding that Israel terminate all form of collaboration with South Africa. December 13, Resolution 3864, calling for an establishment of a nuclear weapon free zone in the Middle East. December 15, Resolution 3869, Israeli nuclear armament. December 15, Resolutions 3879, Report of the Special Committee to Investigate Israeli Practices Affecting the Human Rights of the Population of the Occupied Territories. December 15, Resolution 3885, Demands Israel not to build a canal between the Dead Sea and the Mediterranean. December 19, Resolution 38144, Permanent Sovereignty over National Resources in the Occupied Palestinian and Other Arab Territories. December 19, Resolution 38166, Living Conditions of the Palestinian People in the Occupied Palestinian Territories. December 19, Resolutions 38180, calls all nation to suspend or sever all diplomatic, economic and technological ties with Israel. Condemnation of Israel on various topics including occupation of the West Bank, Gaza and the Golan Heights, war in Lebanon and the annexation of Jerusalem. 1984 November 23, Resolution 3914, reiterates the demand that Israel withdraw its threat to attack nuclear facilities of neighboring nations. November 30, Resolution 3928, Financing of UNDOF. December 12, Resolution 3954, calling for an establishment of a nuclear weapon-free zone in the Middle East. 
December 13, Resolution 3972C, demanding that Israel terminate all form of collaboration with South Africa. December 14, Resolutions 3995, Report of the Special Committee to Investigate Israeli Practices Affecting the Human Rights of the Population of the Occupied Territories. December 14, Resolution 39 1, demands Israel not to build a canal between the Dead Sea and the Mediterranean. December 14, Resolution 39-146, reaffirmation of Resolution 38-180 condemning Israel and calling all nations to cut ties with it. December 17, Resolution 39-147, Israeli nuclear armament. December 17, Resolution 39-169, living conditions of the Palestinian people in the occupied Palestinian territories. December 18, Resolution 39 -223, Economic Development Projects in the Occupied Palestinian Territories. 1985 November 1, Resolution 46, Reaffirmation of the Condemnation of Israel on its Attack on Iraqi Nuclear Facility. December 2, Resolution 4059, Financing of UNDOF. December 10, Resolution 4064E, demanding that Israel terminate all form of collaboration with South Africa. December 12, Resolution 4082nds, calling for an establishment of a nuclear weapon-free zone in the Middle East. December 12, Resolution 4093rds, Israeli nuclear armament. December 16, Resolutions 4161sts, Report of the Special Committee to Investigate Israeli Practices Affecting the Human Rights of the Population of the Occupied Territories. December 16, Resolution 4167sts, Decides to monitor Israel's decision to construct a canal between the Dead Sea and the Mediterranean. December 16, Resolution 4168, Reaffirmation of Resolution 38 condemning Israel and calling all nations to cut ties with it. December 17, Resolution 4169, Economic Development Projects in the Occupied Palestinian Territories. December 17, Resolution 4201, Living Conditions of the Palestinian People in the Occupied Palestinian Territories. 1986 October 29, Resolution 41-12, calling Israel to place its nuclear facilities under supervision of the International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA. November 10, Resolution 41-35-C, demanding that Israel terminate all form of collaboration with South Africa. December 3, Resolution 41-44, financing of UNDOF. December 3rd, Resolution 4148s, calling for an establishment of a nuclear weapon-free zone in the Middle East. December 3rd, Resolutions 4163s, Report of the Special Committee to Investigate Israeli Practices Affecting the Human Rights of the Population of the Occupied Territories. December 4th, Resolution 4193s, Israeli Nuclear Armament. December 4, Resolution 41-162, reaffirmation of Resolution 38-180 condemning Israel and calling all nations to cut ties with it. 1987 November 20, Resolution 42-23 d, demanding that Israel terminate all form of collaboration with South Africa. November 30, Resolution 42-28, calling for an establishment of a nuclear weapon-free zone in the Middle East. November 30, Resolution 42-44, Israeli nuclear armament. December 3, Resolution 42-70, financing of UNDOF. December 8, Resolutions 42-160, Report of the Special Committee to Investigate Israeli Practices Affecting the Human Rights of the Population of the Occupied Territories. December 11, Resolution 42-166, Assistance to the Palestinian People. December 11, Resolution 42-190, Living Conditions of the Palestinian People in the Occupied Palestinian Territories. December 11, Resolution 42-209, Reaffirmation of Resolution 38-180, Condemning Israel and Calling All Nations to Cut Ties with It. 1988. 
April 20, Resolution 43 expressing shock over killing of Palestinian civilians in Nayland. November 3, Resolution 43 the first Palestinian Intifada. December 5, Resolution 43 e demanding that Israel terminate all form of collaboration with South Africa. December 6, Resolution 43 reaffirmation of Resolution 38 180ths condemning Israel and calling all nations to cut ties with it. December 6, Resolutions 4358s, Report of the Special Committee to Investigate Israeli Practices Affecting the Human Rights of the Population of the Occupied Territories. December 7, Resolution 4365s, Calling for an Establishment of a Nuclear Weapon Free Zone in the Middle East. December 7, Resolution 4380s, Israeli Nuclear Armament. December 15, UN General Assembly Resolution 43176, International Peace Conference, Principles for Peace. December 21, Resolution 43228, Financing of UNDOF. 1991. December 16, Resolution 4686, Annulled Res. 3379. 2012. March 29, Resolution 66 225, Exploitation of Natural Resources. 2017 December 21, Resolution A, ES 10L.22, Criticizing U.S. Policy on Jerusalem. <laughs> United Nations Security Council Resolutions See also, United Nations Security Council Resolution Resolution 42, The Palestine Question the 5th of March 1948 requests recommendations for the Palestine Commission Resolution 43, The Palestine Question the 1st of April 1948 recognizes "...increasing violence and disorder in Palestine", and requests that representatives of "...the Jewish Agency for Palestine and the Arab Higher Committee." Arrange, with the Security Council, a truce between the Arab and Jewish communities of Palestine. Calls upon Arab and Jewish armed groups in Palestine to cease acts of violence immediately. Resolution 44, The Palestine Question the 1st of April 1948 requests convocation of special session of the General Assembly. Resolution 46, The Palestine Question, the 17th of April 1948, as the United Kingdom is the mandatory power, it is responsible for the maintenance of peace and order in Palestine. The resolutions also calls upon all persons and organizations in Palestine to stop importing armed bands and fighting personnel, whatever their origin, weapons and war materials refrain, pending the future government of Palestine from any political activity which might prejudice the rights, claims, or position of either community refrain from any action which will endanger the safety of the holy places in Palestine." Resolution 48, April 23, 1948, calls on all concerned parties to comply with UNSC Resolution 46 and establishes a truce commission for Palestine to assist the SC in implementing the truce. Approved 8-0, abstentions from Colombia, Ukrainian SSR and USSR. Resolution 49, May 22, 1948 issues a ceasefire order to come into effect at noon, May 24, 1948, New York City local time. Orders the Truce Commission for Palestine previously set up to report on compliance. Adopted by 8-0, abstentions from Ukrainian SSR, USSR and Syria. Resolution 50, May 29, 1948, calls for a four-week ceasefire covering Palestine, Egypt, Iraq, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Syria, Transjordan and Yemen. Urges all to protect the holy places and Jerusalem. Offers the UN mediator as many military observers as necessary. Further violations and the Council would consider action under Chapter 7 of the UN Charter. Adopted in parts, no voting on the resolution as a whole. Resolution 53, The Palestine Question, the 7th of July 1948. 
Resolution 54, The Palestine Question, the 15th of July 1948. Resolution 56, The Palestine Question, the 19th of August 1948. Resolution 57, The Palestine Question, the 18th of September 1948. Resolution 59, The Palestine Question, the 19th of October 1948. Resolution 60, The Palestine Question, the 29th of October 1948. Resolution 61, The Palestine Question, the 4th of November 1948. Resolution 62, The Palestine Question, the 16th of November 1948. Resolution 66, The Palestine Question, the 29th of December 1948. Resolution 69, Israel's admission to the UN, the 4th of March 1949. Resolution 72, The Palestine Question, the 11th of August 1949. Resolution 73, The Palestine Question, the 11th of August 1949. Resolution 89, the 17th of November 1950, regarding armistice in 1948 Arab-Israeli war and transfer of persons. Resolution 92, The Palestine Question, the 8th of May 1951. Resolution 93, The Palestine Question, the 18th of May 1951. Resolution 95, The Palestine Question, the 1st of September 1951. Resolution 100, The Palestine Question, the 27th of October 1953. Resolution 101, The Palestine Question, the 24th of November 1953. Resolution 106, The Palestine Question, the 29th of March 1955, condemns Israel for Gaza raid. Resolution 107, The Palestine Question, the 30th of March. Resolution 108, The Palestine Question, the 8th of September. Resolution 111, The Palestine Question, January 19, 1956. Condemns Israel for raid on Syria that killed 56 people. Resolution 113, The Palestine Question, the 4th of April. Resolution 114, The Palestine Question, the 4th of June. Resolution 127, The Palestine Question, January 22nd, 1958. Recommends Israel suspends its no man's zone in Jerusalem. Resolution 138, June 23, 1960 Question relating to the case of Israel's capture of Adolf Eichmann, concerning Argentina's complaint that Israel breached its sovereignty. Resolution 162, The Palestine Question April 11, 1961. Urges Israel to comply with UN decisions. Resolution 171, The Palestine Question, April 9, 1962, determines flagrant violations by Israel in its attack on Syria. Resolution 228, The Palestine Question, November 25, 1966, censures Israel for its attack on Samu in the West Bank, then under Jordanian control. Resolution 233 Six Day War June 6, 1967 Resolution 234 Six Day War June 7, 1967 Resolution 235 Six Day War June 9, 1967 Resolution 236 Six Day War June 11, 1967 Resolution 237 Six Day War June 14, 1967 Urges Israel to allow return of new 1967 Palestinian refugees, and called on Israel to ensure the safety and welfare of inhabitants of areas where fighting had taken place. Resolution 240, October 25, 1967, concerning violations of the ceasefire. Resolution 242, November 22, 1967, termination of all claims or states of belligerency and respect for an acknowledgement of the sovereignty, territorial integrity and political independence of every state in the area. Calls on Israel's neighbors to end the state of belligerency and calls upon Israel to reciprocate by withdraw its forces from land claimed by other parties in 1967 war. 
interpreted commonly today as calling for the land for peace principle as a way to resolve Arab-Israeli conflict. Resolution 248, March 24, 1968 condemns Israel for its massive attack on Karameh in Jordan. Resolution 250, April 27. Calls on Israel to refrain from holding military parade in Jerusalem. Resolution 251, May 2. Deeply deplores Israeli military parade in Jerusalem in defiance of Resolution 250. Resolution 252, May 21. Declares invalid Israel's acts to unify Jerusalem as Jewish capital. Resolution 256, August 16. Condemns Israeli raids on Jordan as flagrant violation. Resolution 258, September 18 expressed concern with the welfare of the inhabitants of the Israeli-occupied territories, and requested a special representative to be sent to report on the implementation of Resolution 237, and that Israel cooperate. Resolution 259, September 27. Deplores Israel's refusal to accept UN mission to probe occupation. Resolution 262, December 31 condemns Israel for attack on Beirut airport Resolution 265 April 1 1969 condemns Israel for air attacks on salt Resolution 267 July 3rd censures Israel for administrative acts to change the status of Jerusalem Resolution 270, August 26. Condemns Israel for air attacks on villages in southern Lebanon. Resolution 271, September 15. Condemns Israel's failure to obey UN resolutions on Jerusalem. Resolution 279, May 12, 1970 demands the immediate withdrawal of all Israeli armed forces from Lebanese territory." Full text Resolution 280, May 19 Condemns Israelis attacks against Lebanon. Resolution 285, September 5 Demands immediate Israeli withdrawal from Lebanon. Resolution 298, September 25, 1971 Deplores Israel's changing of the status of Jerusalem. Resolution 313, February 28, 1972 Demands that Israel stop attacks against Lebanon. Resolution 316, June 26 Condemns Israel for repeated attacks on Lebanon. Resolution 317, July 21. Deplores Israel's refusal to release Arabs abducted in Lebanon. Resolution 331, April 20, 1973. Resolution 332, April 21. Condemns Israel's repeated attacks against Lebanon. Resolution 337, August 15. Condemns Israel for violating Lebanon's sovereignty and territorial integrity and for the forcible diversion and seizure of a Lebanese airliner from Lebanon's air space. Resolution 338, the 22nd of October 1973. Calls for a ceasefire in Yom Kippur War and the implementation of Security Council Resolution 242 1967 in all of its parts", and "...decides that, immediately and concurrently with the ceasefire, negotiations shall start between the parties concerned under appropriate auspices aimed at establishing a just and durable peace in the Middle East." Resolution 339, the 23rd of October 1973, confirms Res. 338, Dispatch UN Observers. 
Resolution 340, the 25th of October, demands that immediate and complete ceasefire be observed per 338 and 339 and requests to increase the number of United Nations military observers. Resolution 341, the 27th of October, approves the report on the implementation resolution 340. Resolution 344, the 15th of December. Resolution 346, April 8, 1974. Resolution 347, April 24. Condemns Israeli attacks on Lebanon. Resolution 350, the 31st of May 1974, established the United Nations Disengagement Observer Force to monitor the ceasefire between Israel and Syria in the wake of the Yom Kippur War. Resolution 362 October 23rd decides to extend the mandate of the United Nations Emergency Force for another 6 months. Resolution 363 November 29th Resolution 368 April 17, 1975 called on the parties involved in the prevailing state of tension in the Middle East to immediately implement resolution 338. Resolution 369 May 28, 1975, expressed concern over the prevailing state of tension in the Middle East, reaffirmed that the two previous agreements were only a step towards the implementation of Resolution 338 and called on the parties to implement it, and extended the mandate of the United Nations Disengagement Observer Force. Resolution 371, expressed concern at a lack of progress towards a lasting peace in the Middle East, Resolution 378, called for the implementation of Resolution 338 and extended the mandate of the United Nations Emergency Force. Resolution 381, expressed concern over continued tensions, extended the mandate of the United Nations Emergency Force, and scheduled a later meeting to continue the debate on the Middle East. Resolution 390, considered a report regarding the United Nations Disengagement Observer Force and extended its mandate, noted the efforts to establish peace in the Middle East, but expressed concern over the prevailing state of tensions, and called for the implementation of Resolution 338. Resolution 396 Resolution 408 Resolution 416 Resolution 420, regarding the United Nations Disengagement Observer Force. Resolution 425 1978. Calls on Israel to withdraw its forces from Lebanon. Israel's withdrawal from Lebanon was completed by 16 June 2000. Resolution 426, established the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon UNIFIL. Resolution 427 Calls on Israel to complete its withdrawal from Lebanon Resolution 429 Resolution 434, renewed the mandate of UNIFIL and called upon Israel and Lebanon to implement prior resolutions. Resolution 438 Resolution 441 Resolution 444 Deplores Israel's lack of cooperation with UN peacekeeping forces. Resolution 446, 1979, determines that Israeli settlements are a serious obstruction to peace and calls on Israel to abide by the Fourth Geneva Convention. Resolution 449, regarding the United Nations Disengagement Observer Force. Resolution 450. Calls on Israel to stop attacking Lebanon. Resolution 452. Calls on Israel to cease building settlements in occupied territories. Resolution 456, regarding the United Nations Disengagement Observer Force. Resolution 459, regarding UNIFIL. Resolution 465. Deplores Israel's settlements and asks all member states not to assist Israel's settlements program. Resolution 467 Strongly deplores Israel's military intervention in Lebanon. 
Resolution 468 calls on Israel to rescind illegal expulsions of two Palestinian mayors and a judge and to facilitate their return. Resolution 469 strongly deplores Israel's failure to observe the council's order not to deport Palestinians. Resolution 470 regarding the United Nations disengagement observer force. Resolution 471 expresses deep concern at Israel's failure to abide by the Fourth Geneva Convention. Resolution 474 regarding the United Nations Disengagement Observer Force. Resolution 476 reiterates that Israel's claim to Jerusalem are null and void. The altering of the status of Jerusalem constitutes as a flagrant violation of the Fourth Geneva Convention. Resolution 478, the 20th of August 1980, censures Israel in the strongest terms for its claim to Jerusalem in its basic law. Resolution 481, regarding the United Nations Disengagement Observer Force. Resolution 483, noted the continuing need for UNIFIL given the situation between Israel and Lebanon, and extended its mandate. Resolution 484 declares it imperative that Israel re-admit two deported Palestinian mayors. Resolution 485, regarding the United Nations Disengagement Observer Force. Resolution 487 strongly condemns Israel for its attack on Iraq's nuclear facility. Resolution 488, regarding UNIFIL. Resolution 493, regarding the United Nations Disengagement Observer Force. Resolution 497, the 17th of December 1981, decides that Israel's annexation of Syria's Golan Heights is null and void and demands that Israel rescinds its decision forthwith. Resolution 498 calls on Israel to withdraw from Lebanon. Resolution 501 calls on Israel to stop attacks against Lebanon and withdraw its troops. Resolution 506, regarding the United Nations Disengagement Observer Force. Resolution 508, demanded an end to hostilities between Israel and the PLO taking place in Lebanon, and called for a ceasefire. Resolution 509 demands that Israel withdraw its forces forthwith and unconditionally from Lebanon. Resolution 511, extended the mandate of UNIFIL. Resolution 515 demands that Israel lift its siege of Beirut and allow food supplies to be brought in. Resolution 516, demanded an immediate cessation of military activities in Lebanon, noting violations of the ceasefire in Beirut. Resolution 517 censures Israel for failing to obey UN resolutions and demands that Israel withdraw its forces from Lebanon. Resolution 518 demands that Israel cooperate fully with UN forces in Lebanon. Resolution 519, extended the mandate of UNIFIL, and authorized it to carry out humanitarian tasks. Resolution 520 condemns Israel's attack into West Beirut. Resolution 523, regards UNIFIL, Resolution 524 Resolution 529 Resolution 531 Resolution 536 Resolution 538 Resolution 543 Resolution 549 Resolution 551 Resolution 555 Resolution 557 Resolution 561 Resolution 563 Resolution 573
condemns Israel vigorously for bombing Tunisia in attack on PLO headquarters. Resolution 575 Resolution 576 Resolution 583 Resolution 584 Resolution 586 Resolution 587 takes note of previous calls on Israel to withdraw its forces from Lebanon and urges all parties to withdraw. Resolution 590, UNDOF Resolution 592 "...strongly deplores the killing of Palestinian students at Berzate University by Israeli troops." Resolution 594 Resolution 596 Resolution 599 Resolution 603 Resolution 605 Strongly deplores Israel's policies and practices denying the human rights of Palestinians. Resolution 607 Calls on Israel not to deport Palestinians and strongly requests it to abide by the Fourth Geneva Convention. Resolution 608 deeply regrets that Israel has defied the United Nations and deported Palestinian civilians." Resolution 609 Resolution 611 Condemned Israel's assassination of Khalil al-Wazir as a flagrant violation of the Charter Resolution 613 Resolution 617 Resolution 624 Resolution 630 Resolution 633 Resolution 636 Deeply regrets Israeli deportation of Palestinian civilians. Resolution 639 the 31st of July 1989 Resolution 641 the 30th of August 1989 Deplores Israel's continuing deportation of Palestinians. Resolution 645, the 29th of November 1989. Resolution 648, the 31st of January 1991. The Security Council extends the mandate of the UN interim force in Lebanon until July 31, 1990. Resolution 655, the 31st of May 1990. Resolution 659, the 31st of July 1990, regards UNIFIL, extends the mandate for UNIFIL. Resolution 672, the 12th of October 1990, condemns Israel for violence against Palestinians at the Haram Al Sharif Temple Mount. Resolution 673, the 24th of October 1990. Deplores Israel's refusal to cooperate with the United Nations. Resolution 679, the 30th of November 1990. Resolution 681, the 20th of December 1990. Deplores Israel's resumption of the deportation of Palestinians. Resolution 684, the 30th of January 1991. Resolution 694, the 24th of May 1991, deplores Israel's deportation of Palestinians and calls on it to ensure their safe and immediate return. Resolution 695, the 30th of May 1991, Resolution 701, the 31st of July 1991, Resolution 722, the 29th of November 1991. Resolution 726, the 6th of January 1992, strongly condemns Israel's deportation of Palestinians. Resolution 734, the 29th of January 1992, Resolution 756, the 29th of May 1992, Resolution 768, the 30th of July 1992. Resolution 790, the 25th of November 1992. Resolution 799, the 18th of December 1992. Strongly condemns Israel's deportation of 413 Palestinians and calls for their immediate return. 
Resolution 803, the 28th of January 1993. Resolution 830, the 26th of May 1993. Resolution 852, the 28th of July 1993. Resolution 887, the 29th of November 1993. Resolution 895, the 28th of January 1994. Resolution 904, the 18th of March 1994, Cave of the Patriarchs Massacre. Resolution 938, the 28th of July 1994, extends mandate of the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon until January 31, 1995. Resolution 1039, the 29th of January 1996, extends mandate of the UNIFIL until the 31st of July 1996. Resolution 1052, the 18th of April 1996. Resolution 1057, the 30th of May 1996. Resolution 1068, the 30th of July 1996. Resolution 1073, the 28th of September 1996, on the status of Jerusalem. Resolution 1081, the 27th of November 1996. Resolution 1095, the 28th of January 1997. Resolution 1109, the 28th of May 1997. Resolution 1122, the 29th of July 1997. Resolution 1139, the 21st of November 1997. Resolution 1151, the 30th of January 1998. Resolution 1169, the 27th of May 1998. Resolution 1188, the 30th of July 1998. Resolution 1211, the 25th of November 1998. Resolution 1223, the 28th of January 1999. Resolution 1243, the 27th of May 1999. Resolution 1254, the 30th of July 1999. Resolution 1276, the 24th of November 1999. Resolution 1288, the 31st of January 2000. Resolution 1300, the 31st of May 2000. Resolution 1310, the 27th of July 2000. Resolution 1322, the 7th of October 2000, deplored Ariel Sharon's visit to the Temple Mount and the violence that followed. Resolution 1328, the 27th of November 2000. Resolution 1337, the 30th of January 2001. Resolution 1351, the 30th of May 2001. Resolution 1397, the 12th of March 2002, the first resolution to explicitly call for a two-state solution. Resolution 1435, the 24th of September 2002, demanded an end to Israeli measures in and around Ramallah and an Israeli withdrawal to positions held before September 2000. Resolution 1583, the 28th of January 2005, calls on Lebanon to assert full control over its border with Israel. It also states that the council has recognized the blue line as valid for the purpose of confirming Israel's withdrawal pursuant to resolution 425. Resolution 1648, the 21st of December 2005, Resolution 1701, the 11th of August 2006, called for the full cessation of hostilities between Israel and Hezbollah. Resolution 1860, the 9th of January 2009, called for the full cessation of war between Israel and Hamas. Resolution 2334, the 23rd of December 2016, called for an end to Israeli settlement building. Equals equals see also.